Hello Aries, welcome to Unicorn Funland. My name is Michaela Andromeda and I'm going to be doing a yearly reading for you. I'm just going to pull two cards from each of my decks, a card from the traditional tarot and a card from the Osho deck. Okay, I've already put your mojo on the cards, but I'm so excited about your year. For some reason, I'm, I'm just going to give you a straight intuitive of what I'm feeling. Um, it feels like Aries, it feels like... Um, this is going to be a very big innovative year for you. Um, you guys are the natural innovators. You're, you're the number one stunners. <laughs> you're the first. Uh, do I have a list of No. Okay. You're the first sign of the zodiac. Some people call you the babies of the zodiac, and that's not calling you childish, but it's just young energy, and young energy is always going to be innovative. But this year in particular, what Spirit is sending to me is that your innovation this year is going to be top dog. It's going to be taking off. So those of you who are um, looking to start businesses this year, do it, do it, do it. This is the year to start it, okay? So let's just get into your reading, okay? If you guys need to book a reading with me, you can go to unicornfunlane.com and you can book down at the bottom of my website. If my messages resonate with you, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that's Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop. And you can email me at highpriestessmichaela at gmail.com. But all of that information is down below in the description. But I'm really excited about what's what's about to happen, about what's about to occur for you. Okay, I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of rearranging, which is okay. Spirit for January, for January, that's two cards. We're going to pull one card for each month from each deck. So two cards <laughs> per month, okay? Spirit, January for Aries, for Aries. What will you have Aries know January 2019? One card, one card from tradition. That is a stack. One card, Spirit, Aries 2019. Your work, your work and career is about to take off. And yes, this is this is for you know a lot of different signs, but for you, Aries, it's like this this is that one thing that you've been waiting for like you have been waiting for something for some reason some of you have been waiting for a reason some of you need an excuse <laughs> um to to quit your job you need a reason you need some some proof some confirmation that it's okay to quit your job at this time let's see what we have here oh my goodness so january this is the emotional fulfillment spending time with the people that are closest to you in January is going to be really important. Um, tradition, like this is from the traditional deck, but traditions are going to be at the forefront of your mind in January. Um, some of you may feel pulled and called to be with your family, or some of you may just end up with your family, end up on an outing that you didn't even realize you were going to be on. Um, I'm feeling also, uh, other than your Aries energy, I'm feeling new childlike energy. So for those of you looking to get pregnant, it's feeling like the energy is happening in January for you in particular, Aries. Um, and for those of you who have children already, um, I'm, I'm being drawn to this one right here, this little girl, because she like looks so free and open and, and spirit, the message came through as, um, Free your children. <laughs> your children need to be free. So if you if you feel like you're you're holding on to childhood, to your kids' childhood, and to their smallness <laughs> and their sweetness, um, this is gonna be a time to start to let that go. To start to let your children be a little more independent and free to make some of their own decisions, you know, appropriate for their age. And yeah. So just freeing, freeing your spirit and freeing your mind as well. Spirit just like was like, please say this. Free your spirit and free your mind, okay? Especially when it comes to your family. Uh, it's feeling like some emotion needs to be released. This is going to be the month to release all of those emotions. All of those emotions that have been maybe pent up, maybe releasing emotions to a lover, 
telling somebody that you love them, professing your love to somebody, uh, whether it's a, a family situation or even an intimate relationship. January is going to be a good time to profess that love to somebody, to show people that you care. Those that those of you who are around people and have a group of people that you love and care about, you'll be able to show them care. It's feeling like some of you may have been alienating some of your family. Um, but January, no more alienation. January is a time to really really deeply connect with your family i'm feeling like deeply connect on an emotional level that you've never really connected on um there's some of you out there who are very rigid about your emotions and um very maybe very uptight about uh like big shows of emotion but this month it's almost like a slap in the face like it's almost like Spirit is just dropping some kind of emotion on you and it's making you express that emotion. So you could get ahead of the game and just whenever you feel those emotions coming up, you can stay ahead of the game and just release those emotions as soon as they come up instead of holding on to it. Because when you hold on to it, then spirit's like, okay, well, I got to do this at some point and then all those emotions are going to be released whenever spirit wants it to. And it might not be convenient for your vehicle. I just said rigid, so this this is this is the queen of swords, the queen of clouds, and she is that rigid and uptight one. Okay, so that's just that confirmation. And uh, again, um, this cutting cutting through to the truth. So if you have people in your life that are not being honest. You might want to cut them out or ask them about their dishonesty, like confront them about whatever it is that they were dishonest about. This is also uh, bringing awareness to the morals that you have, bringing awareness to um, how, how you carry out your mental activity, bring awareness to how you carry out your thoughts. So some of you may hear your thoughts. Of course, we are all going to hear our, th our thoughts. But some of you may hear your thoughts and execute them in a non-productive way. So become aware of that this January. Become aware of how you're executing your thoughts. And to not allow, this card is about not allowing how you were raised or what what you have come to be not allowing that to dictate your life only it should only dictate your life if it's serving you and if it's serving your higher good and if it's serving the higher good of all or the higher good of whatever is happening in your life okay so that's january should i put them back spirit said don't put them back okay february for aries spirit feb 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 February for Aries 2019. Very, very, <laughs> this is a stack of cards. February 2019. February. So, and those of you who are holding on to this love situation, I'm feeling like there's some of you who are like holding on to a lover or to some kind of past love situation if it is feeling like it's not <laughs> going anywhere release in january i suggest releasing now stay ahead of the game why not but release this this will be a good time to release those people i i suggest doing it before the new year not not that it'll make a completely huge difference but like do it, it because the new year is like that that beautiful symbol of okay i did all this last year this is what i'm going to change i'm going to start fresh and start new use that symbol use that symbol of refreshing newness to let these people go out of your life the people who you've been hounding and and thinking about and they're just throwing you into the dumpster okay release february 2019 Miss Queen of Cups. So, this is receiving. Mm. 
this is re, uh, re receptivity in the Osho deck. This is receiving those new emotions. She is the nurturer of emotion. She's the mother of emotion. And spirit is telling me this is you in February. Not just because it'll be Valentine's Day, but this is you in February. It's feeling like the emotion, it's feeling like the people that you released in January, uh, it was necessary to release them because now you've made space. So February, February you'll have some space. You'll have emotional space. And it's feeling like emotional space for myself, emotional space for yourself, emotional space for the one, for number one, for me, 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 my emotions. It's me. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's feeling like. Because um, you showing up as this queen of cups is actually very powerful because you're a fire sign. And, you know, water is basically your opposite. Oh, man. And so there's, there's a sense of balance. There's a sense of balance. A balance of your emotions this month. What else, spirit? What else? What can confirm this queen of cups? Look at that. So nurturing your emotions, balancing your emotions, and finding and, and using this balance. It's getting dark in here. Anyway, using this balance to connect with your community. So there, there's um, a group of people, excuse me, there's a group of people, Aries, that you've either been connecting with or that you will connect with or that you're connected with right now that need to see your emotion. They need to see you emotionally balanced because it's feeling like some of you, Aries, are leaders. Aries, point blank period, you're a natural leader. I'm pretty sure you know <laughs> that already, but you guys are natural leaders. And so whoever is looking up to you, whoever this community is, even if it is just your family, they are looking to see that you're emotionally balanced. They're looking to see that you can handle anything under stress. And for those of you who are who are um, bosses or CEOs at your job or in your business, the people who work for you, they need to see your emotional balance. Um, it, it's feeling like, gosh, and it's going back to this rigidity that the Queen of Swords brings. Um, people see that mostly, and some some people that you're working with, it makes uncomfortable, but some people that you're working with, they're okay with it. But, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, so it makes, it makes some people uncomfortable and some people are cool with it, cool with your rigidity. And then it's the vice versa. Um, some people are cool with your emotions and some people are not cool with your emotions and you feel like since you're in this place of leadership or this place of power that you have to be like rigid but if you show a little bit of your emotion if you nurture your own emotions then that will nurture your environment and that that'll that'll um, nurture the growth of your company your family your your community group whatever it is whatever this is for you okay March. I'm feeling you guys. Really good. Really good. Really good. Okay. There's always work to do for March spirit. There's always work to do. And that's the beautiful thing. Yes. Okay. That's the beautiful thing. This this was like flipped up. Like it did I didn't watch it flip over. Like this was flipped up and spirit said yes. Okay. So for March. If you need help, ask for it. Don't allow yourself to be left out in the cold because of your pride. Don't allow yourself to, <laughs> to just be so proud, just so proud of, of your personality that you can't ask for help. This is not a month of pride, not for you. This is a, a time to reach out to people. It's also a time to welcome people in. If you see someone out in the cold, metaphorically, general reading, if you see someone out in the cold, be welcoming to them. Bring them in. Bring them out from the cold. And you can and bring yourself out from the cold as well. It's feeling like um, there's some kind of block. Like I'm literally seeing like Aries like this, like 
Mm -mm. Because of your pride. Because of, um, I can do it. I got it. I'm good. But we are not islands and we're not always good. Even if we say that we're good. If you're um, traveling to a new destination, this card is also going to affect you. Um, it's feeling like some of you guys are going, are literally going on adventures, like going on an adventure in March. I don't know why I'm seeing Alaska, but I'm seeing like backpacking and you cannot be proud. You cannot be so proud to ask for help while you're backpacking because you'll need it. You will need it. Even, even if, if you just need directions, don't be so proud to ask for help. And take your time with this. Whatever whatever journey you're going on, take your time with it. Some of you are literally going to need to slow down in March. It's feeling like you'll you'll start this momentum. It's feeling like 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 end of January. So it's showing me January 31st for some of you. General reading. End of January. This momentum is going to start to gain. And gosh, is that when the eclipse is? I'm not sure, but there's I think there's two eclipses in the in the end of January but um the eclipse may have something to do with it please look it up please go get your astrology chart done by OJC astrology she's a beast but anyway um you may need to take your time even with this momentum gaining even with you starting to uh make these new changes in your life and attract new people into your life and um, starting on new projects and new business adventures, you're going to have to slow it down in March because it's looking like, especially if, if you are too proud to help, for some of you, if you are too, too proud to ask for help, then things may just slow down for you. And also when you ask for help, don't expect it to come really fast for some of you, okay? April, your birth month, for some of you. Some of you are March. Some of you will be March. But April, April spirit. April. Queen of Wands, Queen of Fire. So during, during your season, <laughs> during your season and into the next season after that, this, this instant fiery creative energy is going to burn and blaze a path towards your righteousness and success whatever it means to you take the meat throw away the bones but it's feeling like um like I'm, I keep seeing the sharing card because in the Osho deck this is the sharing card that queen who has that platter of food and she she's willing to give she wants to give her spirit she wants to give her passion she wants to show people the flame that she is and so this, this is like, this is a mighty energy that's happening in your season and into the next season, which will be earth. So this mighty energy is, it, it's feeling like, um, it's feeling like it's like, like, like steady path is what I keep seeing. Like there's momentum, it's moving, but it seems like it's not moving. It's like a steady path, the steady path of creativity. The steady path of giving. The steady path of sharing. And I'm feeling like sharing is something that a lot of you have needed to learn. Like maybe maybe you have some innovative ideas that you don't want to share because you don't want anybody to steal your ideas or something like that. But it's feeling like in April that's not the case. It's feeling like you'll be gathered with, with people, with necessary people, and you'll be gathered with people that you can trust. Sharing and giving of your spirit and your passion will release you from whatever guilt you have been feeling. It's feeling like since August of this year, you guys have been feeling some kind of guilt. It's, it's happening at different times for different people, but it's feeling like you, you've been having guilt about something, like you've been feeling guilt about your family, 
guilt about your seniority at work, guilt about, um, about what you said to that new person that came into your job and you felt bad about it or you felt like you were being rude, whatever it is, okay? So you sharing some of yourself, you sharing your passion will help you to release this guilt. And please, Aries, allow yourself to be released. Allow, allow, allow the beauty to show. Allow these flowers to show. Allow, allow yourself to see the beauty. Allow yourself to see the flowers, okay? Because um, it's feeling also like I'm, feel, I'm seeing that, that eight of swords in the traditional deck, trapped. You know, the girl who's tied up with the swords around her and she's just like, oh, let me out. Like, and she, she can get out, but she's doing this whole damsel in distress thing. But that's not you. You're not the damsel in distress and you're not trapped anymore. The only way you will be trapped is if you're trapping yourself. The only way you'll be trapped this month is if you're not doing this, if you're not showing yourself, if you're not sharing yourself, if you're not giving of your passion. That's how, that's how you'll feel trapped, man. If you're not nurturing your spirit and the spirit of others, that can make you feel trapped. And then that can make, that can bring on even more guilt. Okay. So that was April. That was pretty good. May spirit, May, May 2019. Wow, well, you guys got a lot of emotional stuff here. A couple things. Yeah, you guys got the tin, you got the queen, and look, here's the knight. That's the <laughs> so be prepared for a message. Be prepared for an offering. Be prepared for, for an emotional offering. Some of you, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, like, man, I'm seeing, gosh. Whew. I'm seeing the white horse. I'm seeing my knight in shining armor on the white horse. I'm seeing somebody like literally on their knees, like <laughs> smiling because they know that you're going to say yes for some of you. Others of you are going to be getting an emotional offering of work and career. So it's, it's like, oh, yes. It's like um, you are being offered a chance to work in your purpose and passion. Isn't that beautiful? And you're, you're being offered a way to express your emotions in your work. That is beautiful, yes. Express your emotions in your work so that you don't have to keep them pent up. And I, I remember, uh, I think earlier earlier in the year, it's, it's, it's talking about um, uh, uh, balancing your emotions in your workplace. Um, but it, it's feeling like in, in May, you're going to get some kind of offering, some kind of way to be able to express your emotions in your workplace, towards your family, towards yourself. Self-love is going to be very prominent for some of you in May of 2019. What else? But let go of control. <laughs> Man. These emotions that are coming in. You can't control them. You can't put them in a little box and say, and write, I will take care of you later on them. No. Let go, let go of trying to control your heart and trying to control the emotions of others. So um, if, if you are one of those <laughs> manipulative people and, you know, it's, it's, this is this is between you and spirit. But if you're a manipulative person, this is going to be a time to start to recognize that, to recognize what kind of control that you're trying to exert over other people. And you'll also want to find out where this need for control comes from. Beautiful. That's May. Can't help who we love. <laughs> we can't help who we love. For June, June spirit, June for Aries, June 2019 for Aries. Okay, there's the devil card. So, oh man. 
It's feeling like playful balance with ego. So those of you who have been struggling with what you're saying, I'm sorry, these messages are coming in so fast. Those of you who have been struggling with, with the words that are coming out of your mouth and, and the, the execution of your words, like, like um, maybe somebody's saying, oh, you're, you talk too rough or you're, that, that was rude. You're, you're starting to recognize these things. And it's, <laughs> you're starting to recognize that it's okay and that it's a part of you. If you don't understand and know this, and I'm, I know we all believe different things, so I'm not telling you what to think. I'm just telling you what I believe. But this energy, this dark energy, it's in every single one of us and it's necessary. So some of you are going to be starting to realize, okay, you're complaining about who I am. Yeah, um, some of you will be like, uh, okay, so you're complaining. <laughs> you're complaining about who I am, but that's me and you can't change me. And so I'm just going to keep playing this game. Some of you are realizing that. Some of you are realizing, you know what, this is just me. And then others of you are realizing, this actually isn't me. I'm not this stank person. And you know, this person, oh, wow, you just woke me up. Woke you up in the middle of the year. But there's, there's um, a lot of egotistical energy. It's like egotistical, playful energy for you, Aries. And a lot of other people are going to start to comment on that. And it's feeling like I, I, I'm just seeing you standing strong, standing resolute. Oh, my goodness. Standing resolute in your light. Excuse me. Realizing that this is who I am. I've, I've created me. <laughs> I made me. I made me. Spirit made me. I am spirit. I created this. I shined my light in my own way. And to continue to shine your light in this way, especially if it's not bringing harm to anybody, there's nothing wrong with that. Continuing to um, guide yourself towards your passions and ambitions and spirit, it, it's not even you. It's not even you being guided. It's almost like a light bulb just coming on, a light bulb just like I'm seeing like a light just starting to shine in the distance and you're like there it is there it is and you're just running towards it that's that innovative Aries energy I like that as soon as you see the light run towards it run towards go to the light if you're in your physical body and even if you're in your emotional body if you're in your spiritual body there's nothing wrong with responding to the light but this, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a physical manifestation of going towards the light, of going towards the dream, going towards the fire, the passion that, that, that you, it's like, it's been burning inside of you and you're like keeping it at bay. Aries, you can't keep that at bay. You cannot keep your fire at bay. That's like, that's like cutting off all of your limbs. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're an Aries, you're a fire sign. Don't keep your fire at bay. So this is for July. And look at what's happening here. Okay. Some of you, some of you are having a hard time accepting the playful nature of your spirit. Please don't. Because even with this card upside down, this is indicating that there is some beauty and necessity that's happening in your life. And playful energy. Always playful energy. Childlike free, carefree. I am joy. I am the sun. I am sunshine. Are you shining your light on me? I'm shining my light on you <laughs> is what I'm feeling. So July is going to be one of those times to play. Just play, 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 play. And if you're feeling like you need to go and roll in some mud, do it. It'll probably make you feel better. It'll probably make you feel like you don't have to adult so hard. We, we, as adults, we got to adult. We have no choice. We have to adult. And there's nothing wrong with that. But we also need to make space for our inner child. Like a baby. We need to make space for our inner child. We need to um, give our inner child a chance to play. Because when we let that inner child out, then it's like, it's, it's like finding a balance. 
like you adult all day you adult 40 or whatever hours a week shungai <laughs> you you um no that, that's not like shoot shungai doesn't mean 40 hours a week this is to keep darkness at bay but um you're you work 40 hours a week and then you go home or you know you go outside of work and you're just stuck in this adulting mode and so everything has to be serious so when you're at work adult and when you're at home or when you're out in having leisure time sunshine sunshine yourself release your inner child in july what can confirm this spirit the one on top he said the one on top i don't know what it is to be present you're going to find a lot of validity and necessity in being present as well when you are present everything works out that's what it means this no thingness be in the no thingness be where you are sunshine sun the sun shining all over your situation nothing can go wrong this month be where you are and you'll get what you want be where you are stay present and you will get your desires this month in Je in july july 2019 august august spirit what do you have for us for us air for us aries well i'm an aries cusp but I'm not in Aries. What do you have for Aries, Spirit? August 2019. August 2019, Spirit. Gratitude is welcoming me now. In August. Gratitude is welcoming me now. And I am thankful... <laughs> And I am thankful for all of the different choices that I have set in front of me. In August 2019, if you find yourself with so many different choices, it's important to, oh man, first, it's important to pray, meditate, whatever it is that you do. But choose wisely. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's like, choose the one that you're most grateful for. Whatever these decisions are that come up, choose the one that you're most grateful for. If you have to choose one. I saw it. It was existence. Yep. And in your choice. In the choice. In the choice that you make, it will be the right one. But this, this isn't just, okay, uh, that one. No, you're, you might need to do a little bit of thinking about it. You might have to consider it. You might have to do some research on each cup, research on each decision, research on each choice. But whichever choice that you make, more likely than not, general reading, more likely than not, it'll be the right choice. It'll be everything that you need. And for some of you, you have everything that you need to make the right choice, to make the most appropriate and productive choice for yourself in August. I'm feeling like, um, this, this choice is in career. Did I get lipstick on myself? I'm feeling like this choice is in career. What a oh. <laughs> I'm feeling like this choice is, um, it's like you, those of you who have started businesses, it's looking like your business is going to need or want to go in a different direction. And that's going to be some of the choices that you'll have to make for others of you. Of course, this is gonna be a lover and I'm seeing uh, an Aries woman like with seven lovers like seven different lovers and she is finally wanting to settle down like she is finally wanting to choose just one person and this she wants the person who will give her everything that she needs and give or, or him everything that he needs male and female or they or uh they will want this Aries will want to give this person everything that they need so it's like a balance it's a balance of of emotion and a balance of attitude and personality Whew, man y'all are coming through really strong anything else on seven of cups no <laughs> august that was august september 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 spirit september september spirit and for anybody who wants a personal yearly reading i do those I do them. It's not on my website, but I do them. 
So September, hmm, it's feeling like whatever choice this was that you finally made, hopefully before the end of <laughs> that month, before the end of August, that choice and you having all of the resources that you need is going to just help you gain momentum. I said that um, some of you are changing the way your your business pans out or the way your business works, like the, the processing of your business. Whatever Whatever change was made was necessary, even if at the end of that month, even at the end of August, if it didn't seem like it was the right thing to do, it's going to be very clear in September. It's going to be very clear that uh, you're, you're shooting off, that you're flying off into the sunset. And some of you are going to be traveling for work. I'm always drawn to the mountains. I mean, not every single time, but often, often drawn to the mountains. And I'm feeling you, Aries. I'm feeling you in the mountains of Colorado, not just because Colorado is my Mecca, but I'm literally seeing Colorado. I'm seeing Boulder, Colorado for somebody, whoever, whatever that means, whoever resonates with it. But I'm seeing you traveling. I'm seeing you try again. I'm seeing Alaska again. Those of you who, who are wanting to travel, it's feeling like somebody wants to trek through the snow. Balance me cold. <laughs> There's a lot of balance to be had from the cold weather. I, I learned this recently. Like there's a like cold weather actually can be helpful. Um, you know how it, in, in the summertime it's very bright and warm and it feels good because you know we can go out and we can interact and you know we can go and screw and have babies and all kinds of stuff like that hang on that's my alarm oh it didn't happen okay but um even in the in the winter the cold the cold is necessary um and i'm i'm just i don't know why i'm feeling this so strong for you like this this will be a balance for you if you are going to the mountains or if you are going somewhere cold in September or if you get some kind of offer to go somewhere cold take it because it will help it'll help your immune system and it'll help you clear your mind a little bit it'll give you a sense of balance you being so fiery and so hot balanced out with that cold it's feeling like you're going to have some kind of awakening some of you some kind of heart chakra opening a kundalini aligning okay a kundalini rising chakras aligning okay so if you if you're um, planning on getting out into the cold or if you get some kind of message to go go it'll help you gain momentum in your life travel do it go 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 in september october spirit october october 2019 october 2019 It's feeling like the trip planted a seed, casted a seed, sowed a seed, what, whatever trip this was. And for some of you, yeah, it's, it's a physical trip. And some of you, it's just an in internal trip. And now I'm seeing like a trip, like, like an ayahuasca trip for those of you. Traveling to mountains, <laughs> like, you know, climbing mountains, climbing up hills, climbing temples, deep in the jungle to gain momentum. And this momentum, oh my goodness, this momentum is leading you towards this mastery. And a lot, it, it's, the feeling that I'm getting is spiritual mastery. Spiritual mastery for some of you and some of you emotional mastery. I'm like seeing you trudging up a mountain like, why did I try to do this? I'm dumb. Like, like really like beating yourself up for, for feeling like you're not prepared, but you are prepared. Duh, you are prepared. And you're prepared to take this next step in your spiritual evolution. Aries, you're the innovator. You're, star you're starting something new you're about to start a new trend of mastery check that out a new trend of mastery and master ojo is oh my goodness like it's feeling like i don't know what this means but it's feeling like master osho is watching over you i feel like aries a lot of you would benefit from learning about master osho from learning about his teachings so if it resonates, look it up. 
because this can help you you guys are very like physical and logical this will help you get in touch with your spirit because it was the thing that you need to know about master osho is he understood balance he understood balance between the light and the dark and that's how he lived his life that's how he built that tribe of rajneeshis you know look it up take the meat throw away the bones whatever resonates with you but you, i feel like you would deeply highly truly benefit from master osho and his teachings let's see i got i feel like i got off track okay these two these two these two one two one two one two okay i just have to make sure okay so that was october october mastery reaching some kind of innovative mastery somebody's innovating some some new kind of application or innovating um, um, some some new kind of system at work in your workplace. My ideas are not for naught. I'm seeing you going and knocking on your boss's door. I'm seeing you say, "I have an idea, and I need you to pay attention." Like I like I need you to pay attention. Like like bossing your boss. Because some of you guys have very weak bosses out there, and you can boss them. Not, not boss them around. I don't mean be rude or bully, but you can be like, look, <laughs> this is my idea. Okay. October, November. We're almost at the end. November 2019, Spirit for Aries. November 2019. Where'd you go? Oh. What'd I say? Innovation, right? This that Princess of Swords, the Page of Swords in, in traditional decks. I mean, this deck is kind of tra traditional. But she's also called the Page. Yeah, so this is the Page. Some some decks call it the Page. But um, this is a, a mental card. And she is all about innovation. Like, she she is the, <laughs> the mental innovator. She is don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck what you think. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing me. I'm I'm sending myself out into the world. And your thoughts may oh my goodness, your thoughts may feel very naive, but there's something to learn from naive thoughts. There's something to learn from being naive, from being just like, you know, innocent and childlike. There's something to learn from that. And it's feeling like what you're learning from it is how to execute your sword in the world here's what that means <laughs> how to execute your sword in the world so your sword you I'm, what i'm seeing your sword is your word because your words are translating your thoughts so you have your thoughts and then they come out as words so you have your thoughts and your words can cut people your thoughts can cut people your thoughts can cut through bullshit i'm seeing like 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 a machete like you're in the jungle and you're cutting through this BS and you're finding something new. You're finding um, a new way to be and a new way to think about your situation. I'm feeling like some of you are, are rediscovering the law of attraction and rediscovering how to manifest things in your life. Um, as far as like your work and career situation, you're going to need to be cutting people down. You're going to need to start at a, at a small level. You're going to need to start at um, a uh, 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 the ground workers and start cutting away people that are not serving your highest good and who aren't serving the company. The same thing with love, cutting people away that are not serving. And, and this, this is like a theme for you this year, Aries, cutting away what doesn't serve you. I'm seeing like she with the red hair, she just reminds me of Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth did not play. I know this is a princess, but even when, when Elizabeth wasn't queen yet, like she was very like uh, uh, passionate. She was very like, <laughs> she was gung ho because she was a bastard and she really didn't have a place on the throne. Yeah, so she didn't really um, have a place on the throne because she was a bastard like she was like cast out and then somehow found herself found her way back in but when she found her way back in she did not squander that opportunity so do not squander any opportunities to cut old stuff out of your life in order to make room for the new um it's feeling like your projects 
are some of your projects are coming to fruition and some of you are going to be receiving uh, new messages about your projects coming to fruition. I'm seeing uh, you're going to need to be hiring younger people, whoever, whoever is like some kind of teen counselor or something like that. Uh, there are teens that you counsel that will be more than happy to work for you either for free for some kind of internship or they will be more than happy to be mentored by you. But it's feeling like it's feeling like very, very young and new energy that is coming that that is coming to help you innovate, help you innovate your thinking, because there's so much to learn from people that are younger than us so much. Anybody who says that we can't learn from children is crazy, okay? But the, it's feeling like whatever young energy is coming into your life, whether it be for a career or, or like love, you know, at, at an appropriate age of love, um, it's feeling like the, these are people, this young energy is just going to like flip around. Like I'm not even seeing a 180. I'm seeing a 360. So this person, th these people, these young people are bringing you full circle. And it's almost like you're going to have a realization like, oh my goodness, I was working on this last year. I was trying to figure this out. And so all I needed was, was a 15 year old kid to show me how to do it like this. <laughs> do not underestimate anybody because of their age ever. What else spirit for November? November, what was it? <laughs> Letting go, let go, let go of how you used to feel about uh, people knowing more than you. Because you're going to have to learn more about you. This, this is going deep into the metaphysical emotions of be all that is. The metaphysical emotions of yourself. And learning how to um, use these experiences, these uncomfortable experiences, learning how to use them to heal, learning how to use them to stabilize and empower your emotions. Wow. Ain't that something? December. <laughs> December 2019, spirit. December 2019. Is that one card? This is one card. Here she is, guys. Here she is. This is this is the note that you're generally going to end your your year on, 2019. It may feel like you still have loose ends to tie up. Some of you may be thinking I haven't accomplished anything, but with her, she's always working in the background. She's always working to help you accomplish your goals even if it feels like you've only moved one inch after the year the simple fact that you're seeing this 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 should be a reassurance that you have accomplished something you have accomplished many things and there's also still more to accomplish what more do we accomplish we don't know because that's what's behind this veil back here she's guarding something you see this arch she's guarding that and so the only way you'll find out what the next step is, is to listen to the high priestess, listen to the inner voice, your inner voice, your inner feminine, your inner goddess. Listen to that and vibe with it. It's like, hold her, hold her, hold me close, hold me close. I'm just thinking of that dubstep song. I think that's Flux Pavilion. Yeah, but um, hold her close. Hold her, hold, hold the high priestess close and hold her in high regard. And when I say the high priestess, I'm talking about you, your inner voice, that inner feeling that, that you sometimes feel and you're like, okay, I think everything is going to be okay. Or, okay, this is going to work out, but I don't understand how or why it's going to work out. That's the energy of the high priestess, the energy man of the inner voice because that's inner voice in this Osho deck <sighs> this is one of my favorites <laughs> this is one of my favorite cards and it's so clear cut listen to your inner voice be one with it be okay with the mystery be okay with trying to figure out the mystery 
be okay with not having clear cut answers because she she's she's very cryptic <laughs> okay but even through being cryptic she is saying something and she's delivering the messages that she needs to be delivering so when you do that when you listen to her you're gonna find that success it's feeling like you're gonna have to make some of you are gonna have to make some kind of business or work or career decision and you're gonna have to listen to your inner voice and the inner voice is gonna be right general reading that's only for some of you for some of you that inner voice is going to bring this success and you're gonna be like okay so why haven't I been listening to this my whole life well you know because you're human <laughs> I wasn't listening to my whole life like I don't think any of us were I don't know some of these kids that are coming out nowadays like are you God <laughs> like are you Jesus I don't know that's how I feel about about some of children I really think my son is Jesus like I really think so no I don't know I think we're all Jesus but it doesn't matter <laughs> but yeah so six that's your achievement and that's also that unconditional love so spirit is saying show unconditional love to yourself show unconditional love to your inner voice listen to your inner voice give a party for your inner voice celebrate the success of your inner voice celebrate everything that 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 has helped you to grow this year allow your blessings to fall upon you by listening to this if you if you do if you do this if you listen to her your blessings will come and they'll be they'll be very clear it'll be very clear how to get to your blessings for some of you for some of you you may get to your blessings and it may be like okay this is great how did I get here or this is great what do I do next I'm completely confused but continue to listen to that inner voice bottom of the deck Spirit said, I'm like, eh, okay. Spirit said, um, this is your confirmation for the rest of the year. This is your, this is your, uh, your, um, advice for the rest of the year. Show your true emotions. Express your true emotions. And this is the seven of cups. Okay. So choose. Choose to express your truth this year, Aries. True, choose to express how you truly feel, even if it backfires on you. Learning lesson, nothing wrong with that. Even if it takes you to a new country or a new job or if it gets you fired. I know I'm saying like all the bad stuff, but, but no matter what, no matter what, project your true emotions on every subject in every possible way. Aries, don't be shy. Stand and give your battle cry. Seriously. It looks like you guys have a lot, a, a lot of um, innovation to do. And you have, you have a lot of balance to do with um, spiritual innovation and physical innovation. So you're going to be able to physically innovate if you're able to balance the physical with the spiritual perfect um i think that's all i have for you guys that's this is your 12 month reading <laughs> your general yearly reading for the sign of aries i'm michaela andromeda this is unicorn Funland. if you want to book a reading go to uniform uniform ah what is a uniform unicornfunland.com the best is Yep, come join my tribe on Instagram. That's Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop. If you want to holler at me, tell me a story, or just chat, highpriestmichaela at gmail.com. I'm listening to you guys. Even if it takes me a while to respond, I am here. I'm with you, and I love you guys so much. I hope that you get something from this. And if you do, if this message resonates with you, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. All love and praise to the universe within me and without me, spirit, continue to show Aries what they need to do and help them to balance, help them to truly balance everything that needs to be balanced in the year of 2019. I love you guys so, so much. You have a beautiful moment and I will see you around. Bye.